Yeah, that's right, men. Shoot them. Shoot all of them. And they're all. Hey guys, it's Gum. Here and we are back more Halo Infinite. And last time we did, we were at some sort of tower, and and this time we are heading off to the next place. Hmm. You see, and I mentioned, I, I know I mentioned the last time that I was gonna do it off cam, make my way there off camera, but since we're in the process of getting there, wait, okay, that's a little shortcut there, but oh, I rather go around. Hmm. I guess one some, I know some dialogue supposed to play, but hmm, I guess it didn't. Or oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Hmm. Hmm. Like, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be wanting to trigger, but oh well. Well, that's, that's alright. We're almost still here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so we basically have to get to this area here and. Hmm. Warthog to you? Hmm. You know, I. Sure, yo. Phantom. Yeah, I wonder if this was the same warthog I did have here, cause, oh, cause when I when I exited the game, I pop stopped right there, and I and that's where it was. She even war with friends, bring some units along for the ride to the next main mission. Hmm, that's cool. Oh, oh, I can't well, good thing I did do that, cause did we do this? Cause I had to. Hmm, because that uh, man, that I could get the achievement. And so, uh, so we need to get over to the other side here, of this place here. Uh, kind of trying to play this a little safe here so I don't do flip over. Uh, which looks like we aren't going to be able to make it through the rest of the way on. Uh, with this Warthog, we're just going to have to go on foot. Oh, never, never mind. We can just leave. Hmm. Hold on. If I remember correctly, but I might want to get out here because something will trigger. Yeah, cut the scene. Forerunner alloy is almost indestructible. What do you think they. Chief! <laughs> With that lighting laser. Yeah, sure, I do. And the wings followed me throughout the cutscene, so. Uh, it's interesting, but. Oh god, I guess I got too close to that. Well, okay. Now we know it's instant kill. Because I never knew. I never went up close to it during that point. I was just trying to get some distance away from them so I could. There you could you man the gun. Which this does not look like it's gonna be going well. Well but maybe it will. <laughs> and the uh, moving are unfortunately dead. But yeah, we need to get up into that place in order to take down in order to actually take down. Yeah, in, in order to act deactivate the <laughs> well, good thing the Voidhog does not have a cooldown on it. Oh. Yeah, how I knew I was going to blow, oh, blow up it was because when the vehicles are about to blow up, they make like this sound that sounds like a oh, yeah. like a beeping noise, a charge up of a laser of some kind. And that's how you know it's going to get ready to it's gonna blow up, so you want to... So you're gonna want to jump off of it, of it as, as soon as you hear, as soon as you hear it. I think it apply, applies to every vehicle you use. You know, so it's not just the White Hog. Hmm. Okay. So that's how that's gonna work. Yeah. That how that's how that works. Mm. Like so, which is a nice little deep 
thing they did, so you that way you can't just end up killing yourself when uh, when the vehicle just is about to blow up, or just trying to guess when how much more damage it will take before it blows up and it's up so whether you're on it or not. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I think that's all the enemies see. So we can now deactivate this. Mm -hmm. Excuse me a sec. Something's wrong. I can't shut it down. Then we destroy it. Way ahead of you. There are two power regulators down there. All we need to do is manually expose each regulator's cooling pylon to trigger a cascade effect. And by we, I mean you. And by trigger, I mean shoot or blow up. You get the idea. Yeah, we get the idea because you're just uh, not really doing much for uh, us in terms of fighting the enemies, the covenant. And you just, you just activate some certain things for happening. So. Mm hmm. Grab this. So it's like a good movie we'll find. Phew! Thanks. Yeah, good thing I have this needle here because this could really help it. I want to try to find some more ammo before I do before I, before, as, before I go back up in there because as once we destroy, finish destroying these two things here, can, we can, we're supposed to go back up there. And mm -hmm. well, it, well, uh, I'm not sure how well this gun works out. Oh, but I got him with it, <laughs> and I'm taking the damn getting shot at a bunch. Oh, suicide bug! Oh, I got stuck in the box. <laughs> Well, well, that sure was something, and we're all the way back up here. It's a shame we can't do a world anymore, because because that was a pretty cool cool thing you could do, do a world guns, which they got rid of in Think Reach or ODST. <laughs> I overshot it. Yeah, the ghost in here, I could, I could have helped out a bit, even even if it's not nearly as effective as a needle oh, but it still helps nonetheless. Yeah, it's cut, it helps in saving ammo. <laughs> Should wait for that for them to land and then use that. That's about hmm. Oh wow. Well. Hmm. Okay, I guess there was another one there that helped. And there's a turret. <laughs> there. Could try to splatter them, but I don't know if I want to do it right now. Hmm. Okay, well I did it anyways. <laughs> Yeah, let's go away, Phantom, please. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, now, we have to destroy that. Destroy those things right there. Wait, there's a little cord. Tiny cord in there. You know, but you can only destroy them from a certain angle because it's kind of blocked off. Mm -hmm. I should be able to shoot it now. Yes, and there. Yeah. Got two more on this side, and oh, at least we're dead end. And, and I moved the gun somehow. <laughs> oh, that's up. Over. Uh, and that did not really work. It was splattering it. But no problem. So, Oh, we can move to you. 
A double splatter for the win. Mm -hmm. Because still miss the days where you, when combat evolved, you could splatter kill enemies, and no matter how fast you're going. Like, oh shoot! <laughs> yeah, not sure what that was all about, but I'm stitched the ghost for now because uh, I don't want just in case if it blows up. And now, when is going to go? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice that you can also hear the. They have subtitles for what the, the enemies are saying. <laughs> With nice little detail, because you never got that in the, in the previous games. Hmm. <laughs> so. Oh god, I'm almost out of ammo. <laughs> Let me try to find another gun. Not sure what they were shooting at. Oh, it's a moving up there. <laughs> hmm, okay. But it's giving me it's a distraction so I can stop, use this. Hmm. Not sure what this gun's called, but it's quite out. Unique and cool with. I mean, yeah, this game I'm pretty sure that did. I don't, actually, I don't know if it did add a ton of new guns. Some of these might have been added in some spin off Halo games, but. Hmm. For me, these are some of these are new because I have never played any of spin off Halo games. And the chopper is here. Yeah, so it's cool. Well, that's back. I don't think it was in five or four or five. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it was. But it wasn't even in, in reach, even though the boots were in reach. Uh, come on, <laughs> just turn it around. The hmm. yeah. freaking chopper. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it does have good firepower, despite the fact that it can be kind of difficult to control if it being on a one wheel. Mm. Uh, there's a something one up there, but uh, ah, take you out and. Yeah, it looks like all of them. So now we can just have to do the same thing again, and then we can go back up there. Hmm, so, oh, you sure we make it all the way around this area? I want to say, you want a better job at this area than what I, than my first one of ever doing this. Because, hmm. I don't know, maybe because that was my first time, and now, since I'm, I'm a little more familiar with it, I kind of know what to do now. Even though I still need to press down on the, the D-pad to figure out where to go exactly on where it is. <laughs> so, oh, that's something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe it could also be the fact that because I was in the chopper and I was doing pretty well in it. It's, uh, Hmm. Just trying to get the best angle to shoot out of this, but <laughs> yeah, seems to be struggling a bit. Especially since it's on a slant and some reason it's not letting me go up. Aim it in the way I wanted to. Okay, there. This seems to work. Come on. There we go. Oh, that done, and we can, obviously this isn't the way to go. Hmm. What? I think I heard it just about to blow up. Then, um, that's what it is, okay. Let me just get the cover. 
Where have I been shot from? Come on! Uh, oh, all the way up there. Uh, well, you get a checkpoint right before that. Mm, good. Just go on foot. Oh my god, this freaking jackal sniper rifle. So the beam rifle is probably what they're using. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Taking a little bit of a different approach to it. And okay, that works. And I have close to full needle ammo, but you know, well, and, okay, good. The guns are still up here. Here, you know, because there's a reason why. We kind of sucked a bit, especially since one hit and you're kind of done, unless you just get some lucky swing. Uh, somehow survive lucky. You put in. Um, get also, the problem is that he runs a little too fast to, for me. Uh, so you just don't get enough time just to turn around and run and shoot. Hmm. <laughs> but, hmm. Like, yeah, this is why I wanted the needle work with me, but because he can just take it out himself pretty quickly, kind of. But <laughs> yeah, and you can't even leave the area too because it's blocked off. Oh, like the lifts are blocked off. Okay. There we go. I somehow managed to clear that first try. Oh, you can do for about this. Because my first one of that, I kept dying to him a bunch. But, did it legit now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I did it first try. It was great. Mm -hmm. You've done your part. Now it's mine. Watch this. Is there a problem? Of course not. <laughs> Let's see what's down there. That razor was modified very recently to cut into the ring. Modified? By who? Definitely not by Babsis back there. The formula is very sophisticated. Whoever made this choice. Hmm. Yeah, but now we can actually go in there. Uh, so, see what it is. Hmm. So, now we're going underground. <laughs> oh, shoot. That was my bad. That was my bad. <laughs> well, now we get fall completely through the ring and out of here. <laughs> okay, here. Let's do that again, but not some of you a little more careful, okay? Probably went a little further down. But. Uh, here, oh, okay. Now we go this way. We don't just jump down the hole. Hmm. Uh, yeah, right. The holding screen now to a different. Loading, loading screen was like that for some own reason. Okay, just shucking that. What? Yeah, if I recall correctly, we do get some. I think we get some new, sort of new enemy down here. So what we found our Spartan. 
That's dead. A drop ball module, deployable cover, resilient but temporary. Scan complete. This is Spartan Vedrana Makovic. Armor's been offline for 13 days. Cause of death is... What? An enhanced energy blade, same as Spartan Stone. There's a pattern emerging. Chief, who's doing this? We're going to find out. Yeah, going to find out. I don't end the feed up, whoever it was. Alright, so... Yeah, okay. See here, some... Some guns, oh, I'm quite satisfied with what I have. Good. I want to use the gravity hammer or something. <laughs> so, so, so for, I think it's the earliest opportunity for us to get it. Unless there's a side mission. Mission that does that. It's uh... It's roots. And if I... Also remember correctly, we do get some interesting account. Semi flashback scenes, but not like full on flashbacks, because it's not like the screen's gonna fade white to a cutscene as we may we made from its original point. I mean, it's just kind of like those holographic things, kind of that we saw back in episode two. <laughs> yeah, so get all down here and <clears throat> uh, it's like, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, thank you. you for the needle ammo. There's some more down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's always been, it seems like my comments are without this is just kind of like, not, not, kind of mad, not the greatest. Mainly because of the fact that this is like the sixth, <laughs> no, it's like the eighth Halo game we've done, and kind of just like the lost words for the most part, and don't have much, too many interesting things to say about it, really, because. Because it's kind of the same thing. Well, it's not, obviously it's not full on the same thing. It's not like we're just playing the same game over and over. We could playing different levels and stages. But yeah, it's kind of like a little burned out from doing all these Halo games I've been doing for like oh, over a year now. It's kind of crazy. See, but hmm. yeah, even though obviously I haven't done them all like one after another, you know I. I've been kind of alternating between them and then some other games uh, by one or two. Ooh, but yeah. Yeah, for the most part, I'm just kind of been doing this. Just kind of the same thing. But this is the last one that I'll be doing. So, the last one. So, that'll be good. Kind of nice to, nice to be done with them. And, yeah. And hey, who knows? Maybe one day I'll make some video. Might make some more multiplayer videos on these. Oh wait, you need to find a power core somewhere around. You know, like do some actual full on co op videos on either campaign levels or. Oh wait, here it is. Or oh, in, in some multiplayer. Okay. The reason, reason I mainly haven't been showing the multiplayer or you know, matchmaking of Kings off in these is because the fact that there, there are so many of them and it would just take up so much time. and. It's just kind of, kind of the same thing, even though it would still be fun to see. He, but who know? Uh, uh, let me back up the cover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would still be fun to see at uh, times. But it is going to be kind of hard to do. It's, um, especially for some of those camp. Uh, some of those camp. So, not campaigns, matchmakings, because even if I was going to show stuff off in the standalone versions of some of them, because the uh, Halo servers were for the standalone versions of Combat Evolve Anniversary, Reach, 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 and 4, and I believe Reach ODST has been shut down recently. Maybe just like a few months ago, but, uh, which sad, because. Uh, yeah, had some good memories, especially with Reach. Played a ton out of that. Uh, yeah, so, uh, mm, that kind of stuff. 
I even loaded back uh, up the game just to see what it, if for myself or if the servers were down on that, and indeed they were. And the biggest thing I th thing I noticed about it is that customizable armor does not show during the, like throughout the game or the cutscenes of the campaign, <clears throat> which kind of sucks. I'm not sure if it still does it through the matchmaking. It shows it through any of uh, not matchmaking any of you the. Uh, like Firefight or Forge or Custom Games. When it does, then, hmm, then that's nice, but this campaign doesn't, uh, I would imagine it doesn't. And since it doesn't show up for the campaign, sadly, it just goes to the default either. And it sucks, because that's shut down. And you can still play them, them technically, local co multiplayer. Here, so, it's not like it's. A completely single player now. You can still play them multiplayer, just not. Uh, yeah, just not like online multiplayer. It has to be local multiplayer. Here now, which. Which, you know, is okay. Okay, you guess, but still not cool experiences online multiplayer with random people you don't know and it's fun with. Yeah, but yeah, the servers got shut down in well, January or so of 2022, and and had my Halo 3 ODST Let's Play get uploaded, and by around the time after those even even shut down there, so. <laughs>